Okay, here we're going to have a look at setting up Aximetry with the Idonix chart plugins. Once you've got your chart bundle downloaded, you can extract that into the Aximetry installation folder underneath Unreal Engine Engine Plugins. Once it's installed, you can open up Unreal for Aximetry and underneath Setting Plugins, you will see the Idonix category where you can enable the plugins. Once you've restarted once more, you'll then get this category on the left where you can see all the different charts available. From here, you can drag it into your set and configure it to get the look you need. And then once you're happy with it, we can have a look at exposing the functions to animate the chart through Aximetry. To do that, we will go to our level blueprint. For this example, we're only going to animate a single chart, so we'll keep it simple. We'll drag the chart in from the world outliner and we want to connect the animate in and the animate out functions. So the animate in function is called animate to state from JSON, which will take a JSON payload and animate the chart to that state. The animate out function is just simply called animate out. So to connect these to Aximetry, we will use Aximetry triggers. And to do that, we need the bind event to trigger, connect that to the begin play. And then the trigger we want is an Aximetry trigger. And we will name this chart in, and this is how it will appear in Aximetry Composer. Hook up a custom event, which we will call chart in. And when that's called, it will tell our chart to animate. Now we need to give it some JSON to animate to. So to do that, we will get an Aximetry text and connect those up and we'll call that chart data. And this is the data it will use when we tell it to animate. So again, for the animate out, we will bind event to trigger with an Aximetry trigger, which we will name chart out. We will add a custom event here called chart out and connect that to our animate out function. So compile, save. And now what we can do is cook our content and head over to Aximetry Composer to hook these up. Okay, here we are in Aximetry Composer and we've got our composition open. We've got our Unreal project here set to the cooked version. And you can see we've got the three new pins at the bottom, which we exposed from our level blueprint. If you don't see those, you may need to right click and resynchronize pins before they appear. Once they're there, you can right click and expose and that will add them to this dashboard panel. So we'll animate all three of those. Now we want to put some JSON data in here and tell it to animate to that data. Now it has to be single line data to work in this dashboard. So we've got some sample data for a column chart here. Now, in order to get into a single line using Visual Studio code, it's nice and simple. You can do view command palette and minify the JSON. So we copy that and we'll paste it into the dashboard. And now when we click chart in and chart out, you will see the chart appear and then animate out.